and welcome back to the Nature's Glory Cabin Off-Road. Today we're doing something a little different. We're talking about the equipment we use for videos and mounts and all that kind of stuff. We've been asked a time or two what we do and how we do it, so we're going to show you some of that stuff in this video. Have fun. All right, let's try this. Today we're going to be talking about the video equipment that we use for recording when we're out on the trail. We've had some people ask about us, and I thought, well, we'll just go over everything today and talk about each one of them. First thing we have is your good old generic cell phone that everybody has. We uh, have a Gal we have Galaxy, we use Android, so you can use whatever you want. This is, we use this mostly for things like snapshots, and I use it on the dash to catch some shorts and short videos occasionally. Um, so it's not used a whole lot, but right now I'm filming with one because all of my cameras are laid out here. So let's start out with the good old GoPro 8. This GoPro 8, this is one of the first cameras that I bought. It has a circular polarizing filter on it to take out things like sun glare and light flares and stuff like that. This one stays inside. It is not waterproof. It either mounts on the bullet point or with this suction cup to the dash. This has been used on the TJ for a long time. I didn't have an extra uh, bullet point mount. I might have one the next time. We'll see later how that works. And this one also has an external connection for a battery. So we use a lot of external batteries. We'll talk about those when we get to them. So moving right along here, we're going to talk about the GoPro 10. This is the GoPro 10. This thing is always out in the weather. I have screen protectors on each one of these. Uh, screen protectors, lens protectors, pretty important because I've shattered some screen protectors before. This guy, again, has the pass-through. You buy these from GoPro for the 10 and up. The one for the 8 is not a GoPro. It is water resistant, I guess you would say. I've not got any water in it. And that cord right there comes with the little door you buy from GoPro. And there's the factory door right there. So it just replaces it. And here is another magnetic mount that, if you can tell, it's got the angle to it. We use this on the TJ because the TJ is steel. And uh, we mount that on what we get the, we call it the left front wheel video. We see those in a lot of our videos. All right, moving on down here to the GoPro 11. This is the one that's on the back of the Jeep, either one of them, the JL or the TJ. This guy also has a circular polarizing filter. A lot of these new cars have the lights that just don't turn off, so it takes a little bit of that flare, uh, flare out of those lights. This also is set up for a remote battery, and again, we'll talk about that because uh, these GoPro batteries only last about an hour, hour and a half, and this gets mounted on the steel bumper behind on the back. We'll show some stuff about that. Here is the uh, media mod that works on the 10 and up. Uh, basically, it's a little muffler on a uh, microphone, and it works pretty handy. I'd be using it today if I uh, wasn't using everything in another fashion. This is also a mount that I've just bought. I've used it once. It's Joe's Racing and uh, it is for mounting to tubes. I've used it on the new rock sliders on the JL. It seems to work pretty good. It's all CNC and not cheap. And here's the wrenches that I have to tighten everything up with. You can do it with a screwdriver but I have an Allen wrench that uses that goes into the mount right there and then a nut driver to use on the clamp. All right, moving right along, battery packs. This is an anchor. This is the first one I ever bought. It's a, I believe, a 2800 milliamp, and uh, it will drive one of these cameras for, gosh, uh, eight plus hours. I have only used about a quarter to a half a battery in eight hours. Now, I notice a little Velcro on the bottom. That's so I've got Velcro on the dash of the TJ, and it also kind of helps stick to the carpet in the other ones. Now, this one here is, I believe, a 3800 milliamp. It's fairly new. I have two of these, and it has multiple uh, jacks. Again, these last forever. I mean, I, I haven't been able to run them out. You can also use charge your cell phone, stuff like that if you need to. 
and here are the screen cover, screen lens covers that we use. Just buy them off Amazon. I get them a bunch of. So that works great. So now the last thing we have, camera wise, is my camcorder. I've got a 4K Sony, and it also has a. Let me open it up here. It has a gimbal mounted lens, so it moves around. And the reason I bought this originally was just for hiking because if you're walking and you're hiking, it takes all that movement up and down out. Um, every one of these cameras have 400 megabyte SD cards in them. They will last about 16 hours. So when I'm out on a trail, I'm constantly recording, got all three cameras running, so I don't have to worry about starting and stopping and such like that. I had done it in the past where I had done it differently, and this seems to work out the best for me. There are links in the description to everything I use here, plus a bunch more stuff. I hope everybody likes this. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.